Now, sickle cell is a blood disorder that silently affects millions of Americans, and retired NFL wide receiver DeVar Darling turned a family tragedy into a way to spread awareness about the disease. Yeah, the former Texans player founded the As One Foundation after the death of his twin brother, Devon. He is joining us now with more on his story. My goodness, you have had uh, quite a career. I didn't realize you had lost your brother, Devon. Your family, you're Bahamian. You moved here to uh, Sugar Land. Sugar Land, Went yes. to Stephen F. Austin High School, moved here in 94. And then you went on to play for what? The Ravens, Kansas City, Three the Texans. Texans. Yep. So while all this was going on and you were in the professional spotlight, uh, tragedy hit your family. Tell us about your brother, Devon, and what happened to him. Well, my identical twin brother, Devon, like you said, we moved here from the Bahamas. Our goal was to make it to the NFL, and uh, unfortunately, it was cut short with him at Florida State when we were uh, freshmen at Florida State during uh, winter conditioning during 2001. Um, it was it was a tough season. It was a tough time. Uh, never thought anything like that would ever happen in life. You know, two young 18-year-old boys working out hard Healthy. with our teammates and. And, um, and then that tragedy happened. And that was the first time we found out that we had the sickle cell trait uh, when we were freshmen at Florida State. Oh, wow. Okay, and I want to talk a little bit about sickle cell trait, what it is. Uh, spell it out for us a bit because I really had no idea, you know, what this was or how it would affect someone. Right, so sickle cell anemia is a blood disorder. It's the full disease. Sickle cell trait is it acts like the disease during certain situations like high elevation, physical rigor, uh, and our blood cells start to sickle at exactly like the sickle cell anemia. In your brother's uh, death, uh, it was caused or determined that it was due to exertion, dehydration, and the sickle cell trait. So while that wasn't isolated as the sole cause, it was a contributing factor. It was definitely a big factor in it. Um, as you can tell, as your blood sickles, your oxygen doesn't carry as well throughout your body. And uh, that's what happened with him. He was dehydrated. We were doing physical rigor and um, we weren't allowed to get water during these trainings. Mm. And wow. um, that, w that, that contributed to him passing away. Wow, oh, oh man, what a tough thing. Now, I do, I do wanna talk just a little bit about um, the health risks that are actually associated with the NFL or other athletes and what folks could maybe be aware of. Well, the most important thing is just knowing your body, knowing your status, knowing if you have the sickle cell trait or not. And if it doesn't just affect uh, black Americans. It's a bloodline thing, not a, not a skin color mm -hmm. thing. Uh, so that's what we really want to focus on. It uh, affects people from Latin, uh, Greek, Mediterranean descent, mm -hmm. Irish descent. Um, so it can affect anyone. Um, it's the number one silent killer of college athletes, D1 athletes. Um, all Division One athletes have to be tested or at least have knowledge about the sickle cell trait before uh, getting on the, 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 the playing field. Mm -hmm. So it's a big deal. And uh, through the foundation and everything, we just want to continue to spread awareness. Spreading awareness seems like it's key because, as you mentioned, it's a silent killer. Mm -hmm. A lot of times people don't realize uh, it's in their family or in right. their, their twin brother until it's too late. It can be identified through a simple blood test, is that true? A blood test. A blood test is, is the number one thing. So okay. you just got to get tested. And you said now for the NFL, they do have to test them so they are able to take these precautions, right? Well, so. even in college, D1 athletes are, are required to know about the sickle cell trait. It is the number one killer, silent killer. So that is non-injury or non-violent non, you know, related. Okay, and let's talk just a little bit about um, your foundation, your mm -hmm. nonprofit organization, um, and you know how that came about and who you're helping. Uh, like I said, it just started with us boys being young, young and vibrant, having a dream and goal, and making it to the NFL. And once the tragedy hit, um, you know I was left to carry the dream on. And uh, once I got to the NFL, it was it, I already knew what I had to do, and the As One Foundation was born. Uh, it came from, you know, the story of my mother not knowing that she had twins. Two hearts beaten as one, as one foundation, that's how it was born. Devard, mm -hmm. it really is cool. I mean, you want to prevent other families from experiencing this loss. And as part of the As One Foundation, a uh, $100 donation can provide a test to one athlete. And your goal is to reach 25,000 participants in just the Houston area alone. Of course, of course. Uh, like The more money we raise, the more people we can help. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's what we're really doing. Uh, giving over, over $100,000 uh, to Fort Bend seniors, I'm 
going off to college. We've done a lot in the area. And uh, getting testing and, and helping out our, our community is what it's all about. That's excellent. And I want to talk just a little bit about uh, the Dash Race that's happening this Sunday, how folks can get involved in that. Uh, come on out to Stool Park in the Heights. Heck you yeah. know, you can go to eyeswonfoundation.org. You can sign up. Uh, we have it's a family fun atmosphere. Uh, it's dogs a, are welcome too. I dogs hear. are welcome. <laughs> pets are welcome. Uh, it's a 10k, 5k, 1k run walk. It's uh, just to come out and spread awareness and have a good time. Excellent. That is fantastic. And this is the 14th annual race. Uh, has it been a decade since you retired from the NFL? A full uh, it's, decade it's, already? It's been, it's been that long. I can't time flies. Time flies. It's a theme it's today. It's been that long. <laughs> Listen, time flies. It's been too long since we've seen you on the field, but I think it is great uh, what you're doing with your life and to honor the memory of your late brother and uh, get on out there mm. this Saturday. Oh, come on out Sunday. 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 Park. At the Park in the Heights. What? Bring everyone out. It starts at 8 a.m. And it's a, it's a good time and it's a good cause. Everyone is welcome. Wow. Fun for the whole family. Again, you can do the 1K, the 5K. Registration fees vary depending on your age, whether you are an adult or youth. And for a link to learn more, you can visit the scene on Houston Life section of our website, HoustonLife.tv. Devard, thank you so much.